Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genome. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the file activities under the system section. So first we will see how the get file info activity works. The get file info activity gets the information of a file. So here I had previously created a txt file named test.txt. Uh, now we will try to uh, get a different kind of information about this file using the get file info activity. So here under the property section, we need to provide a file path in the input field. So we will give the path of this test.txt. So to do that, we will press shift and right click on this file, select copy as path and paste it here. And the output will be in the format of uh, system.io.fileinfo, which will be then assigned to a variable. Uh, so we'll create a variable for that using control plus K. So we'll create a variable var file info. Right. Now to see the different uh, kind of information about the file, we need to uh, drag and drop a message box. So we'll use the message box. And in the input field, we will type in var file info. And as soon as we press dot, here we can see a list of options available. So for instance, if we want the creation time info about this file, then we can go ahead and choose that. And let's click on save all and run the sequence. Here we can see the date and time as to when the TXC uh, file was created the test.txt file was created on, the, on this date and this time. Now we'll go and uh, ahead with another option. Let's see. Uh, let's go with the dot extension option. So now it will return the extension. So here this is a text file. So it should return the dot uh, txt. Here it has returned .txt. Okay. Now next we will see how the get files activity works. So I'll delete this and I'll drag and drop the get files activity. The get files activity returns the location of the files. So here I have a folder on the desktop called RPG and in this folder I have four different text files. It's test1, test2, test3, test4. Alright, so now in the property section, uh, in the input field, it's asking for a source folder. So we will provide the path of this RPGN folder. So we will copy this path and paste it here. Now the contents of this particular folder are all text files. So what we can do is in uh, double quotes we can put star.txt. This is a wildcard. So yeah, this is star.txt as contents, and the output is, will be uh, an array list. So here we can. We, we need to create a new uh, a variable called var file list. Alright. So next we will drag and drop a for each. And the collection is var file list. And each item will be assigned to this variable called var item, which we can then display it in a message box. So var item. So here what we are doing uh, is we will get the files, all the files of this folder and then loop through and it will be assigned to this list var file list and then it will loop through the var file list and the location will be displayed uh, one by one. In that list. So let's see, click on save and run the sequence. 
here you can see uh, the location of test one .txt file has been displayed. Next, the test two, next test three, and then test four. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.